Now let's cover adult CPR one rescuer. We're going to make sure our scene is safe whenever we've identified an unconscious or potentially unconscious victim. We're going to make sure our gloves are available and our CPR shield is available as well for personal protective equipment. We approach the victim and call out to them, are you all right? Are you okay? They do not respond verbally or physically. At this time, we're going to put a hand on the forehead and tap on the collarbone. Are you all right? Are you okay? There's still no response. We're going to activate the emergency medical services. You in the plaid shirt, please go call 911 and come back. I might need your help. If it's in the hospital setting, you may want to call a code or initiate the emergency response team. Now, no response, no signs of life. I'm going to go ahead and do a head tilt, chin lift, and look, listen, and feel for breathing. For up to 10 seconds, but no less than 5, I check to see if there's any breathing. There isn't any. So I'm going to give two rescue breaths. The two rescue breaths go in. I check for a carotid pulse. The patient has no pulse and is not breathing. I'm going to start CPR. 30 compressions. Remember with CPR on the adult, we want to go between the breasts and the center of the chest and one and a half to two inch deep compressions, at least a hundred per minute, which is a little more than one a second. Remember to keep your compressions consistent with your elbows locked straight, using your upper body weight to help you do those deep compressions fast for a long duration. And we're going up to 30, followed by two more breaths. followed by 30 compressions, and we continue this two breaths, 30 compression cycle until AED arrives, the person shows signs of life, or the next level of emergency response team takes over for the rescuer.